investigation for mischief and public mischief and causing disturbance. And I'm asking you now to provide your name and date of birth, okay? Yeah. And if you choose not to do that, then yes, I will be arresting you for Okay. Well, I can't give you that because... Okay. Uh, because why? Uh, well, in this day and age, when people that work for government agencies misuse okay. people's personal private information... So right now, you're under arrest for obstruction. Okay. Okay. You have... I'm going to explain it to you in simple I don't understand why I'm arrested for public photography, though. Okay, because you're refusing to provide your name. What's For what crime, though? I, I just explained it all to you. So, anyways, let me... Let me read you... But your, public okay? photography isn't a crime, sir. Let me read you your rights, okay? Um, do you understand that? I don't understand why I'm being arrested for public well, you photography. you don't understand the actual... <laughs> Cause, but I understand. understand you're being I arrested. understand. I'm being unlawfully arrested. That's what I understand. So Once I'm of the belief that I've been lawfully arrested, you I will provide have that. Been lawfully arrested. Okay. I don't believe you. Okay. I'm not going to just put this. We're going so, down this way. Hello, good citizens. My name is Dan. I'm here at the West Shore Communities uh, Courthouse. I'm about to submit a uh, information for a private prosecution and on July 25th 2018 I was arrested outside of the West Shore RCMP detachment for taking photographs video and film uh, from a public sidewalk from public property uh, when the police came out they immediately demanded my ID and they said that if I didn't provide my ID, I would be arrested for public mischief, which uh, that charge doesn't even apply. And uh, so uh, as, I, as I was uh, on public property and I wasn't breaking any laws, um, I declined to provide my ID. And I was subsequently arrested and had my cell phone and four cameras confiscated. As a result of that, and for why I'm here today, I'm here to press criminal charges against the watch commander, the West Shore RCMP. His name is Aaron Kundu Thompson. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but so be it. And count one is mischief. Count two is extortion. And count three is criminal harassment. So I'm just about to head inside and have my paperwork uh, sworn in, sworn in, and signed by myself and a justice of the peace, and this uh, private prosecution will proceed. Um, now, this isn't the first time I've done this. If you uh, watch my videos on a regular basis, you'll know that I've done this before when the police break the law. And typically, what happens is the crown prosecutors uh, find some sort of excuse to drop the charges before it even gets before a judge. And even though I haven't uh, submitted the paperwork yet, I'm going to go ahead and make that prediction right here and now. So I'm just about to head inside. Uh, my good friend Bruce Dean is going to wait outside for me here. You're not allowed to bring cameras in, so we're not going to be recording any of that. And uh, here we go. I'll, uh, yeah. Woo! Alrighty. So we just uh, submitted the uh, informations. For a private prosecution for the watch commander at uh, West Shore RCMP. His name is Aaron Kundu Thompson. And uh, I've just submitted and sworn and signed this information for a private prosecution for count one mischief, count two extortion, and count three criminal harassment. And I do have the uh, paperwork. This is an application to a judge. And I now have a court date to return and fix a date for a process hearing as per the Criminal Code of Canada. I want to thank my friend Bruce Dean for uh, showing up and uh, providing his services as I don't have any cameras or a cell phone myself because they've all been confiscated. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned and I'll have more on this later.